In this video, we want to see how to go from a proper data set into a cross-tab table where the column header says which quiz and the row header says which student. And we want to do it with a formula. Now back in Excel Magic Tricks 1782, we saw how to go from a proper data set into a cross-tab table. And we use the amazing new wrap columns function. We also used transpose and unique and unique. The problem with this method right here, and we talked about this back in 1782, is that wrap columns is depending on the fact that this table is sorted first by quiz, then by names. So if we sort the number column, it's going to wreck our report. Control Z. Now before we solve this with a simple addition to this formula, the fastest and easiest way to go from a proper data set to a cross-tab table like this, where we're not doing aggregations, we're just listing these numbers, well, of course, the fastest way is to use a pivot table. We also back in the old days could create a two-way lookup formula with mixed cell references. But let's check out how we're going to do this. We're just going to sort all of the ranges in the report. So here, we'll use transpose, and we need a unique list, and we're going to have to sort it. So the difference between this and what we did here is we're just adding sort. So there's our quiz, close, close, close. Similarly over here, We'll use unique, but then put a sort in there. And by default, sort will sort it alphabetically, which is what we want. Close, close, and Enter. Now, we still want to use our wrap calls, but we're going to have to sort this column by two separate columns. So that's the perfect job. And why don't I do it over here? Equals sort by. The array we want to sort is quizzes, comma, by array, that's going to be our major sort. So we're going to first sort by this, comma. We can put in 1 for ascending, or A to Z. The default is this setting here, so I'm going to skip over it. Then we want to sort by this column, comma. You can put a 1 to sort A to Z, or just leave it omitted. And so that's how we're going to get around the fact that someone might try to sort this. Notice this doesn't change at all, which is what we want inside wrap calls. Control Z. I'm going to steal this in edit mode. Copy, escape, equals wrap. And we're going to wrap the columns. And the vector is Control V and wrap count. It's the number of student names. And I have that up here. And that's our formula to robustify this report up here. So now it doesn't matter how I sort this this is going to work. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.